Holy crap, January is here. Whoops, I gotta turn the mic towards me. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and I are currently in the process of paying off more than, well more than $250,000 worth of debt. And we are trying to do it in, I can't even tell you how long, under a thousand years. I think it's going to be probably three to three and a half years it will take us. And we are taking you along every step of the way. And on my channel, you will meet my husband frequently. And in fact, you will meet my husband today because he makes some appearances in this video. And you will meet my daughter, Melina, who has not appeared today, which is very odd because she's out there and she loves to be on YouTube. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every single time I upload. It's January. Okay, it's not January. It's December, but we're talking about January. Let's just jump on into this budget. This budget, although the the vast majority of it is our normal monthly expenses, we do have a few that are really throwing us off. And we did have some overages in December, so we did have to take some money. So unfortunately, our debt payments aren't fantastic this month. They're okay. So I'm disappointed, but it's okay. It's one month. We'll be okay. So let's start out with our first category. Our first category is utilities, and we have 198 for our cell phones and the 270 standard that we have for our storage units. And if you are new to these parts and you're like, why does this woman have a storage unit? I'm going to point you to this video up right here in the eye in the sky, and that should explain everything. I get a lot of questions pretty much every budget when I talk about the storage unit, if I don't link that video up there. So in our transportation category, we have $30 for gas. We have not needed much more for gas than that. Sometimes we don't even need that, but I like to have it in there just in case, because you never know when you're going to be driving. Insurance and tax, we have our USAA insurance and our USAA life insurance. As you can see in there, they are always in there, but they don't cross my my every dollar accounts, they go directly from my paycheck in to pay those two things. So they never cross my budget, but I like to keep them in there for tracking purposes. Either way, I'm going to kill him. I am going to kill him. He's going to give me a heart attack at some point today. <laughs> then the CMFG insurance is $12. And as we all know, that's the insurance I love to hate. It's $12, I should just get over it, but I can't because it was such a stupid decision. It's... Hey, I just finished that uh, credit card application you asked me to do. <laughs> he loves to do stuff like that. He's such a dork. So that insurance is one of those insurances that you can get when you get out a loan. And when we took out our giant loan, we went ahead and registered for that. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Maybe there was wine involved. Why I thought that was acceptable. Although, did we have life insurance back then? I can't, I don't think we did. Cause I know, I think I did, but I don't think Mauricio did. When that $140,000 loan is paid off this year, then hopefully that will disappear. If not, I'm gonna have to work on making it disappear. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what it was connected to. Then we have 3583 for Mauricio's life insurance. And we have $200 in the budget to pay our CPA for that ongoing tax debacle that we have going on. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna point you to this video right here and that, oh my goodness, it's just turned into a nightmare. So we are still working on getting my W-2 fixed. So we haven't been able to finish up with the taxes yet. I'm kind of done with taxes. I should be finished with taxes right in time to do tax season again. So this is, this next category is part of the reason that our debt payment is so low this month. Just one of the many things going into the budget that is sucking money away from our large debt payment. So before and after care is $5.90 a month. And I don't know what happened, but when I paid my first bill in September, I thought I was paying the August bill, but apparently I was paying the September bill ahead. So it is finally caught up to me 
maybe they didn't bill us for the first month, uh, the first month, and they're just now billing us. But I have two payments that I owe, so that is eleven $1 hundred and eighty dollars. But I mean, I legitimately owed the money. Then we have forty dollars in there for Melina's school bucks. She has like thirty-two dollars left in the account, and so at twenty, they will recharge us. So that'll be forty dollars. And then we have $25 in there for Melina's miscellaneous school expenses. Okay, so Mauricio has been playing fantasy football for as long as we've been married. I think now, I guess maybe three years in, he started playing fantasy football. So he has been playing fantasy football with the same group of people every year forever. He loves football. Football is his life. So in January, it comes the end of the fantasy football and you got to pay up. So this year I have put $150 in there because that's what he owes. And the good thing about it, this is like the first time that I've ever remembered to put the fantasy football payment in the budget. In our cash envelopes, I will be going over these in detail, but we have 260 for groceries, blow money, we have $200. So then we have $20 for the dry cleaner, $25 for haircuts for Mauricio, and $100 in our family outings category. And in our recurring annual fees, we have our iTunes at $29.97, and that's Netflix, Apple Music, and our iCloud. We have Weight Watchers at $44.95, Audible at $14.95, Skype at $25 and Amazon Music at $3.99. And the Amazon Music is for Melina, so she can tell Alexa exactly what she wants to listen to, and it'll just play for her, and she just loves it. So she's been playing a lot of Christmas music with Alexa. It's pretty awesome. So in my YouTube category, we have TubeBuddy at $4.50. Backblaze at $5, Morning Fame at $3.40, and then we have our P.O. Box at $140, and we're going to go ahead and pay for a full year. So oh, this is another area that is sucking money from our, our overall debt payoff. Both Melina and I have dentist appointments this month. So that's $100 each. We switched dental plans from Mauricio's dental plan to my dental plan during open season. So I am super excited to have this. But truthfully, I th the reason we switched wasn't for like cleanings and stuff. It was for the major dental issues that we need. Um, Mauricio needs some pretty hefty dental work. And I have so many crowns and root canals. Well, not so many. I think I have two. I have three crowns and I've had two root canals that, you know, it's better for us to have the higher end dental insurance because it's not the $125 dental cleaning that does us in. It's the $10,000 gum graft that will do us in. So yeah, so we've switched. So I don't know what my copay on this is, but I'm assuming that my dental insurance will cover at least $25 of it. Truthfully, I don't think Melina's dentist is covered at all by our new dental insurance. And they only took one kind of dental insurance at Melina's. She goes to a pediatric dentist who is amazing with her. And I would much rather her go to this dentist than for us to try and find another dentist for her. She's a little kid. All her teeth are gonna eventually fall out of her head, so she's probably not gonna need major work until she needs braces. And when she needs braces, we'll take her to somebody that's covered. So then we have $22 in there for parking for Mauricio under the work-related expenses. And for now, that is all we have in the way of work-related expenses. And then our sinking funds are the same. Our medical sinking fund at $150. Our car repair replace fund at $100. Our Christmas fund at $100. Our emergency trip to Columbia fund, and that is if there is, you know, the death in the family or some such thing at $50. Miscellaneous expenses for school for Molina at $25. Summer camp at $100. Work travel expenses at $100. And our anniversary, we are having our 10th anniversary this upcoming summer. And if Mauricio and I want to go somewhere for the night, we will have the money to do that. Or we'll just put the extra money on to debt. 
we'll decide when it's time. And then we have our online category, which is Amazon, which is $150. And we put that in there and I make sure it gets used pretty much every month. And we have our cushion category. Now, I know Dave is not a fan of the cushion category. I totally get that. I totally get why he doesn't want people to have cushions. But I gotta be real honest, the cushion category saves us a lot because there is always, every single month, something comes up that we aren't planning. And it may be Girl Scout cookies that I have forgotten I have to order, or it may be a fundraiser for my nephew's schools, or I may have to, I don't, I can't even think of what else. One of these days I'm gonna look back over and see what we spend our money. Melina rips a hole in her tights and has no tights. I had to do that last month. You know, that kind of stuff. And then we have our final category. And this is the debt payoff category. And this month in January, we have $5,811.60 going to debt. And I'm sad about that number. I am desperately hoping we can come up with a way to raise that number after Mauricio and I sit down and have our budget meeting. But right now, I just don't see how. So it was originally going to be $6,811, which isn't the $7,000 quota that I wanted, but it's a lot more reasonable. But then we had the dental, the extra school payment, and then the two dentist appointments. So it is what it is. And it's still $5,811.60. That's pretty awesome. Hey guys, I'm taking over my mommy's phone. And my mommy doesn't know that. Coco. Look. The giraffe has gone to visit the great giraffes in the sky. Let's mourn its loss. Yeah, I was sitting here working on my computer and Mauricio and Melina were back here and they called me and I had this blanket. See this? I had it laying like this over the chair and I turned around really quickly and the blanket whipped the cup onto the floor and it didn't shatter. It just cracked from top to bottom. So I'm very sad. It wasn't my cup. It was my mom's cup, but I drank out of it every single day because I like big cups. This is a tiny cup. This is so tiny. Melina's dress was fantastic and she got so many compliments by random strangers. She just looked like a little princess. But what's funny is at some point, my six-year-old has become a teenager. Like it happened overnight. She started doing teenager poses for pictures. I don't know where they're coming from, but it's hilarious. And so I had to tell her when she went to have her picture taken with Santa that she was not allowed to pose like that, that she had to, to be a nice little girl and do nice little girl sitting and hugs and, and fun things with Santa. So I can hear somebody outside the door. I think it's Melina. It's Mauricio. <laughs> yes. What you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to film. That's who stinks. <laughs> I'm making uh, beef stock. I, a girlfriend of mine at work gave me this huge bag of beef bones, and so I've been making beef stock. It smells, beef stock smells so bad when you make it, but it's good, it, we're making, I have on the calendar for this week, we're making homemade Salisbury steak, and then I am making a beef, crock pot beef stew for dinner. Woo, that's two nights of red meat this week. But Mauricio and my father will both be very happy at having two nights of, two nights of red meat this week. So what else are we having? But I wanted to make the stock rather than using um, box stock because it's just so much better, but it really does smell. I mean, like bad, but it tastes good. So it's okay. He's probably going to be mad at me for talking about his fantasy football payment on the, on the, on, on the tubes because uh, he lost in a big way, like massively, hugely, incredibly lost, like a lot. Seriously, no joke. A lot. I think he came in last. So we actually agreed that next fantasy football season, I'm picking a draft. And I guarantee you, I will do better than he will. 
all know this process is not easy. For those people that think it is, it isn't. It really isn't. And I think you can tell that in my videos. There's 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 a lot of stress and strife that come or come with this program. I know it'll be worth it in the end, but yeah. So make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe to my channel and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This one is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.